So about a year ago, I posted a review on my channel of Aspen Ovard's clothing line, Luca and Gray. You're not having deja vu. I promise this is a different video. See, curly hair, Sierra. It's, it's a different era, a different C era. That's a bad joke, let's keep going. <laughs> but I did that review and I was generally pretty positive about like the style, the designs and the quality of the pieces I tried. I did have some issues with the fit and the sizing of the items, but overall I was pretty impressed with Luca and Gray. My main complaint though was the lack of size inclusivity. At the time they only went up to an extra large and only up to a large in some of their items. And then lo and behold, a few weeks ago, my DMs were filled with requests to do a new review of Luca and Gray because they launched a plus size line. So ask and you shall receive. I am here ready to do a brutally honest review part two. I ordered almost every item in the collection. I even got some of the items in two different sizes so that we can really take like a good look at the sizing and the fit. And as always with my brutally honest reviews, this is not meant to be hateful in any way. If I don't like some of the pieces, that is not shade to Aspen as a person or a creator. I just want to give you guys my honest thoughts so that you can have some like unbiased info on these items if you were interested in purchasing before you actually spend the money to buy. And it's brutally honest. So if I like the clothes, I'm gonna tell you. And if I don't, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But let's jump into it. <laughs> And this is only the first box. We have two boxes. This box, a little more manageable. This one I can pose with and be like, look, look, we're doing a review. Back to business. The first items that we're gonna try on are the Curvy Lola Top. And I got this in a 1X, it was $45. And we're gonna try that on with a pair of shorts from their plus size collection. And those are the Curvy Gia Shorts. These are $49. And I actually decided to get these ones in a 1X and a 2X. I'm really curious to see what what the sizing is like because in my first review, I did notice that a lot of their bottoms were like kind of small for my thighs. I don't know if the plus size collection is gonna be the same. So I thought it would be fun to try both sizes. I do typically wear a 1X or an extra large if I'm in standard sizes or plus sizes. But when it comes to bottoms, I do like to size up sometimes because I love a loose fitting short. All right, so here we have Lola Top Gia shorts. And right off the bat, I'm not crazy about either of these pieces, but also there's nothing glaringly wrong with either of them. So let's just kind of break it down, go through each piece. Let's start with the shorts because I do also have the 2X over there to try on. These are the 1X. And I would say the sizing and the fit for me is honestly perfect. I've got plenty of room here in the legs, but they fit really comfortably at my waist too. And what's nice is they do have this like tie belt. So I was able to make it the perfect width for my waist. They don't pull weird anywhere. They don't sit weird anywhere. In terms of fit, they actually are really, really nice. But the fabric and the construction and the quality is just average. And to me, the price does not match up with the quality. These shorts were $49 and I would say they feel more like a $30 pair of shorts. I don't mind paying more for clothes if the quality is there, but I just, I, I, these, this is not the quality that I expect when I'm paying $49. I do really like the length of these. I think they're still like a cute short, but they also cover my thighs enough that I wouldn't have to deal with chub rub, which is great. The material is very lightweight and breathable, which is nice, especially with summer coming up. But honestly, the quality is more on par with like H&M, but the price is more like made well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on rating these until I try on the 2X as well. So let's talk about this top. I'm gonna untuck it so we can see it fully. So just like the shorts, the fit and the sizing of this top is exactly what I need. I feel like it gives that nice kind of loose fitting billowy look without swallowing me up and just looking like I'm wearing a big piece of fabric. It's not pulling anywhere. It's not bunching anywhere. It's fine. The shirt is just fine. And that's the problem again. The material is eh, the quality is okay. And the price is pretty high. This one was $45. And for $45, I would have liked a higher quality fabric. But again, nothing wrong with the top. The top's totally fine. It's just not $45 fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this top a six out of 10. Nothing bad, nothing special, but I do think the price kind of drops that rating down a little bit. Now let's try on the 2X in the shorts. Okay, so here are the 2X shorts. And one thing that I didn't notice about the shorts on my first pass 
is not only did they have the tie waist, but the back, like the back waistband here is also elastic. So it's really stretchy, which is great. I feel like the more adjustable a clothing piece is, the better because it can fit a variety of body types and proportions. So even though I do think the 1X in the shorts fit me better, that was my ideal fit, these don't look bad at all because of the adjustable waist, which is awesome. If someone has thicker thighs than me, but like the same waist proportions, they could totally size up and these would fit fine. And they'd be able to get that extra room in the thigh without the waist being too loose. So I do like that. I think that gives extra points for the shorts also pockets. We love pockets. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and give these shorts a seven out of 10. I feel like if the quality of the actual material was higher or the price was lower, it would be more like an eight out of 10 because I do feel like the fit is really nice. I love that they're customizable. I like the aesthetics of them. I like the way they look just looking at myself in the viewfinder, but there's a little bit of a disparity there with quality versus price. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a Poshmark where I sell clothes that I buy for videos that I'm not going to be keeping for for myself. And then all of the proceeds from that are donated to charity every quarter. So any of the pieces that I get in this video that I don't think I would get a ton of wear out of, I'll just be selling on the Poshmark. And I think honestly, all three of these pieces fall into that. Next up, we have a dress and that is the Curvy Aria Sage dress. This was $55 and I ordered it in a 1X. Let's go try it on. I'm, I'm excited for this one. Okay. So first off, I am loving this dress. I feel very, very cute in it. Obviously it's a little bit wrinkled from just being in the package. I think that's just the nature of this kind of like linen fabric. So it's one of those pieces that you just have to be careful to hang it right so that it doesn't get wrinkled. But ignoring the wrinkles, I am very, very happy with this dress. Again, with the sizing, I think it's perfect. It fits like a true 1X. The dress itself is kind of loose and shapeless like a shift dress, but it has this little tie belt, which allows me to give waist definition, which is one of my favorite things. One thing I was worried about with this just kind of scoop neck top like this was if the fabric was too tight and pulling on my chest. But you can tell that this piece was definitely designed with plus size bodies in mind because there's plenty of fabric in the chest. I also love the sleeves. I think they're just so cute. The color is beautiful. It's so simplistic. It's literally just a plain green dress, but all the little design details, especially like the little ruffle at the bottom. I think the length is perfect. They just all really work together to make a really cute effortless dress. And this one, I would say the quality does match up with the price. This dress was $55. And I think the quality, the construction, the design, it's worth the price. I'm definitely gonna keep this dress. I'm very, very happy with it. I feel like it would work for a variety of different occasions too, which is always great. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 actually. My only concerns that keep it from being a 10 are the fabric wrinkling easy and it being a little bit itchy, but those are super, super minor. If you've watched a lot of my reviews, I rarely give 10s. If I give a piece a 10, it's like, I want to wear that every day of my life. So a nine is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. Next up we have, this to me is like the, the most exciting thing in this collection. It's just so like what I'm into right now. And that is the Curvy Dream tie dye set. And this is $72. It comes with the crew neck sweatshirt and the joggers. It's like a, a matching set. And I decided to get this one in a one X and a two X again, because like I said, when it comes to bottoms, sometimes I like to size up. So, uh, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here is the tie-dye set in the 1X. And obviously going into this, I was really excited about this outfit. I knew that it was my style. I expected to like it, but there are design elements of this that are honestly really impressing me that I didn't even notice in the product photos. So there's a couple places where there's like gathers or ruched detailing, like at the ankles, it actually ruches kind of up at the ankle, which I think is a really cute touch, especially for a pair of kind of like jogger sweatpants like these, I feel like usually I would just expect elastic at the ankle. So I feel like this is a more unique touch. I really like it. The sleeves are almost like a three quarters length and they kind of gather up, which I think makes it look even cuter. And then the sides of the top here, I don't know if it's purposeful or if it's just the way the fabric lays, but the fabric kind of bunches up together here. And I think it looks really cute. The material of both the top and the bottom is so nice. It's very soft. It's very like luxurious. I think the colors are nice. The construction is nice. In terms of quality, this set is definitely there where the price is. Also, it has this tie at the front, but that's actually not the adjustable part of the waistband. Like the, the little ties here, 
here don't come in and out like a normal pair of sweatpants would, but the waistband is elastic nonetheless, so it doesn't really make a difference. I like that you could wear these together or as separates. I think it's just really cute, really good quality. I'm not sure how I feel about the sizing. It is a little bit tighter on my legs than I would like, so I'm actually really excited to try the 2X. So let's go ahead and try that on. Here's the 1X, and here is the 2X. I definitely like the fit of the bottoms better on the 2X. This material does tend to be a little bit clingy, so I think having the extra fabric in my thighs just makes me more comfortable. It also just gives more of that like relaxed, baggy kind of jogger look versus the other ones that were a little bit more form-fitting. But I do think I like the fit of the 1X top better than the 2X. I think on me, the 2X top is just a little bit too billowy and loose. I liked the way that the 1X looked better on the top, but I like the 2X bottoms better. But regardless, I am really impressed with this set. I really, really like it. I would say this does run true to size like the other pieces. It just depends on your personal preference and the proportions of your body. The bottoms of the 1X fit me fine, but I personally like the fit of the 2X bottoms better. So all things being said and done, I'm gonna go ahead and give this set a nine out of 10. Only way it could be better is if the fabric wasn't quite so clingy or the bottoms just had a little bit looser fit in the legs. So I think I'm gonna keep the 1X top, but the 2X bottoms, and then I'll just sell the top and the bottom separately on my Poshmark. That's what I'm gonna go with, but I would definitely recommend this set. I really, really like it. Next up, I got the Curvy in a Rush jumpsuit in a 1X. This was $62. Jumpsuits are tricky for me because there's just so much that has to go right for a jumpsuit to look good. A lot of the times with jumpsuits, they'll be like too long because I am kind of short. The shoulders will be too loose, but the chest will be too tight. You know, there's just a lot to consider. So I'm a little nervous for this one, but let's try it. Okay, so this is the first piece that I would say runs a little bit big. The fit in the legs is actually really nice. I do have a little bit more room than I would expect in a 1X jumpsuit. It has this elastic waist, which of course is nice for waist definition. The length is pretty good on me, but the top section is just so billowy and loose. There's a lot of extra fabric, especially in the back. I feel like if I got this tailored and it fit more like this, that's kind of what I would want, but instead, I have this, which I think I just, I lose a little bit of my shape when it fits this loose. But the problem is their plus size collection only comes 1X, 2X, 3X. So there isn't a possibility to size down to a 0X. Mid-size girl problems. Sometimes I'm too big for standard sizes and too small for plus sizes. And also, even if I could size down, I don't think I would like the fit in the legs as much if it was tighter. So overall, this just isn't right for my proportions, but setting that aside, I do think the quality and the construction of this jumpsuit is pretty good and it does have pockets. I love the color, I love the stripes, I really like the button front detail right here. And I think the idea of it is cute, it's just the proportions are a little bit off for me personally. Is it worth $84 though? I, I think the quality is a little bit low for that price. The material is not bad at all, but for $84, I do think it needs to be higher quality than it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this jumpsuit a six out of 10. If you're someone who has more of an apple shape where you're bigger on top and in the middle, and then your legs are smaller, then this actually might be perfect for you. But for me, it's just not. <laughs> Next up, we have a really cute pair of jeans that I'm super excited about and those are the curvy two-toned jeans and they are $58. I opted to get these in a 1X and a 2X. I think it's interesting that the jeans are sized as like just 1X, 2X, 3X because every pair of jeans I own is like numbered sizing, like 12, 14, 16, like that kind of sizing. Jeans are another thing that I feel like tend to be kind of tricky, especially for me and my proportions, but we'll see, we'll try it. I also bought a top that I'm gonna try on together with this, and that is the Curvy Love crop top in a 1X, and it was $43. I did not expect to like these jeans as much as I do, but I, I'm i all in on these jeans. These might be my favorite piece so far. So first of all, like I said, I was nervous about the sizing, how it's just a 1X flat out and jeans are already tough for me, but these are so stretchy. They're definitely more of like a true jegging and in the back, they actually are elastic here, which makes them super adjustable, which I really, really love, especially if you're gonna size jeans like these. I feel like this is the only way to do it because these are really, really great. They fit me awesome. The material itself is very soft and it feels super high quality. And honestly, compared to the prices in the rest 
rest of the line, I'm surprised that these jeans are only $58. Like for reference, this shirt here is $43 and we'll get to this. I feel like if you're gonna charge $43 for this, I would expect these to be a, a lot more expensive, but I'm, I'm not complaining. They're also a unique pair of jeans. I love the two-tone. I love the kind of like ripped down the center look. They almost have a very like 90s feel to them. They, they remind me of something that like Lizzie McGuire would have worn to school. You know what I mean? They totally give off that vibe and I, I love it. I'm here for it. I am contemplating giving these jeans a 10, which I did not expect at all. But we'll try on the 2X just to make sure because I did order them, even though I think this this size is perfect for me. We'll, we'll hold off on the rating until then. Let's talk about this top because it's really underwhelming. <laughs> it's really cute. Don't get me wrong. I actually like it a lot and I do think I would wear it a lot, but the quality is this is the lowest quality piece that I've tried on from Luca and Gray so far. The material is just kind of starchy and itchy. It feels like something that I would get from Forever 21 for maybe $15. The fit and the sizing is great though. It actually completely unties here. So I could tie it long in a knot. I could make it tighter, looser. I could tie it in a bow. There's lots of different options, which I do like. I also like the little ruffle here. I think it's really cute. Like I said, the look of this is totally fine. No issues there, but there is some discrepancy between between like the quality of the material and the price. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this top a seven out of 10. I am gonna keep it, I like it. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it, but it's probably honestly gonna be one of the lower quality pieces in my wardrobe. And if I was trying this on in store, not for a YouTube video, there's no way I would buy this for $43. So here is the 2X bottoms. And these definitely do run true to size because I think these are a little bit big on me. The 1X was nice and form fitting without pressing into my stomach or being too tight. It was honestly perfect, but these ones are just a little bit too loose where even though the material is stretchy and the waistband is elastic it just doesn't sit properly on me and that's what I would expect so I would say these bottoms definitely run true to size if they are still in sock I would highly recommend them I am so excited about that first pair I'm gonna do it they're a 10 out of 10 they're just so great I'm, I'm so excited about these well not these ones but the ones balled up on the floor in front of me <laughs> 10 out of 10 good job Luca and Gray another dress I feel like some of my favorite pieces that I've seen from Luca and Gray, just in like following their Instagram and occasionally like scrolling through the website, are their dresses. I feel like their dresses are usually so cute. So I'm really excited that they like kept that same style with the plus size collection. So this dress is the Curvy Byron Floral Dress. It is $54 and I got it in a 1X. This dress is honestly the only thing of the video so far that's like genuinely a disappointment. <laughs> like this is the only thing I've tried on where I'm like, wow, based on the product photos, this is not what I expected this to look like on me. Even some of the items that I haven't been crazy about or that I wasn't like super stoked on the quality, I, I feel like they looked exactly like they did in the product photos. This dress was belted in the product photo, so I couldn't really tell just how shapeless it was. Now granted, I could easily fix that by belting it, but I also just really don't like the top and I am not crazy about the material or, or the quality either. So the top is the kind of like small stretchy material, which at first I thought it was meant to go off the shoulder, but it's definitely not. As you can see, this is as far as the neck stretches, so that's not what it's meant for. And the smocked part naturally like sits kind of at the top of my boob right here, but I feel like maybe it's meant to be more like this, I guess. I would expect the whole smocked part to either fully cover my boob or just like, wh why? What, it, what is this? <laughs> The sleeves are cute and the pattern is cute, but also the material feels really low quality. It feels like Forever 21, I'm not crazy about it. Honestly, I feel like this dress is everything I want plus size clothing not to be, if I'm being brutally honest. I'm sorry, Aspen, don't hate me. I really like your videos. I'm just not crazy about this dress. <laughs> I think if I belted it, I would like it more, but still it's just, to me, it's not really a dress worth saving. A lot of the times if I have a dress that I really like everything about it, except for the shape, I can easily add a belt and fix that. But the only thing I really like about this dress is like the pattern, the idea of it. So I don't think the quality or the design of this dress is worth the price. I think the material feels a little bit cheap and it's just kind of like one big piece with some ill-fitting aspects. So I'm gonna give this dress a four out of 10. 
not crazy about it. And then we have another jumpsuit. This is the Curvy Weekender jumpsuit in a 1X and it was $55. In the photo, this one looks like really stretchy. So I'm hoping it's kind of like a pajama-y jumpsuit. That sounds right up my alley, especially with being home all the time. I feel like I've really enjoyed having jumpsuits that just kind of also feel like pajamas. This one looks comfy in the photos. We'll see what it feels like in real life. I'm not crazy about this one. Honestly, it feels more Fashion Nova than Luca and Gray. I think one of the things that Luca and Gray has done exceptionally well is creating a very specific aesthetic and style for their brand. And I don't think this piece necessarily fits in with the rest of the collection and the rest of their brand as a whole, really. I guess it's kind of minimalistic, which a lot of their items are, but I feel like just the kind of form-fitting ribbed jumpsuit is more outside of the realm of their more like flowy jumpsuits and tops and dresses and, and that kind of thing. One of my insecurities that I'm still working on is pieces that really hug my stomach like this and that's more of my own mental block. That's not a problem with this piece of clothing. That's just a problem with what society has made me think about my own body. But like I said, we're working on it. Self-improvement, it's a journey. So personally, just for my own comfort level, I can't see myself reaching for this in the closet. Although the material is definitely comfy and stretchy, it is also very, very thin. And I worry that with this kind of like light nude color, it would show sweat very easily. And I also think kind of the way the fabric lays is a little awkward in some places. It, it's really bunchy up kind of at my upper thigh and my crotch. I feel like I would be doing this a lot to try and smooth it out. It's all right, it's not for me. I would say that the quality matches up with the price though. The sizing is on point for what I would expect from a 1X and what I do really, really appreciate is throughout this whole try on, the sizing has been really pretty consistent. I feel like other than maybe the striped jumpsuit, everything fits pretty true to size, which is really, really great. Also this jumpsuit is so stretchy that I think it would fit a variety of proportions and body types. It's just not for me, it's not my favorite. So with my personal bias in mind, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six out of 10. It's not for me, nothing super wrong with it, but also just nothing really great. And I don't think it really fits in with the rest of their line. And the last thing I'm gonna be trying is the Curvy Brave Soul cardigan. And I got that in a 1X and it was $47. So let's go try it on our last piece. Okay, so here is the cardigan and I went ahead and left it buttoned up for now because that's how they had it in the product photo. So you guys can see it like this and then I'll unbutton it because that's probably how I would actually wear it. Also, I figured I might as well put the jeans back on to try it on with because I just, I'll take any excuse to put these jeans on. They're so cute. So this cardigan is a really cute cardigan. I do really like it. I feel like it's kind of that perfect oversized fit without being too baggy. And I think the material really helps with that too because it, it, it looks kind of like a knit heavy cardigan, but in reality, it's, a, it's pretty lightweight. And as someone who lives in California where it is pretty much warm all the time, and I like to have the cute, you know, oversized relaxed cardigan look, but also I don't want too much material. This is kind of perfect for me. I also like the length. I feel like it would be really cute layered over, you know, just like a tube top or a tank top or a t-shirt or even a dress. It feels really nicely constructed. The material is a little bit itchy, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's not too bad. I like the length of the sleeves and also how they're kind of loose fitting here. I think that helps with the kind of relaxed baggy look. It's nothing like crazy out of this world blowing my mind, but as far as cardigans go, honestly, this is probably one of my favorites. I could see myself wearing this a lot, especially in this kind of like neutral oatmeal color. I feel like it would go with pretty much everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this cardigan a, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I like it. So what do you guys think about Luca and Gray? I'm curious to know in the comments if you've ever bought anything from them and what your experience was like. I feel like I just have to give like big props to Aspen on the success of Luca and Gray. I feel like a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers, influencers launch, you know, side projects or businesses. And then sometimes they get put on the back burner or sometimes they don't really grow beyond that creator's audience. And I feel like Luca and Gray is a really good example of a creator being passionate about something and having a vision for something, actually executing that, making it happen. And then that business, you know, in, in this case, the clothing line, Luca and Gray, growing bigger than the creator. Like I feel like Luca and Gray, at least from an outsider's perspective is really successful. So congratulations to Aspen on all the success with that. I love seeing people on YouTube succeed in things. It just makes me really happy. Like as a YouTuber, I feel like whenever I see a YouTuber on TV or in a magazine or doing something cool, like launching a clothing boutique, I just get all like happy inside.
because I'm like, those are my people, YouTubers of the world, go out and conquer. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if there are any upcoming launches or clothing lines or just stores in general that you would wanna see me review and I will be reading through those and definitely taking your guys' suggestions as always. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be confident, be kind to your body. Also, before I sign off, one thing I wanted to add, this is the first video I've ever filmed without wearing makeup. I'm wearing eyebrow gel and mascara, but that's it. Like I'm not wearing any face makeup, which is like a big departure for me. I feel like I've kind of been easing out of wearing a lot of makeup and experimenting with a more natural look. And I wanted to give it a shot on like an actual main channel video today and see how I felt about it. So if I looked a little bit different, it's just the lack of makeup. I feel really good about it. I'll probably keep experimenting with, you know, different styles of makeup or lack thereof. But if you guys want to hear me ramble on more about that and other things, check out my vlog channel because I've been vlogging today. Hey vlog. Anyways, be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys actually on Tuesday with a bonus video. Bye!